In this video, you are going to learn about the powerfulness of Shimadzu SSM 5000ZA in TOC solid sample measurement. As you may already know, the TOC L series is renowned for measuring total organic carbon in liquid samples. But what if we need to measure solid samples? That's where the SSM 5000ZA comes in. The SSM 5000A is a solid combustion unit that allows for the measurement of total carbon or TC, inorganic carbon, IC, and total organic carbon, TOC in solid samples. SSM can be used to measure TOC in soil, in sludge sample, sediment, and other solid samples. In addition, with GMP cleaning validation, the system can also be used to evaluate residues using the swab sampling or direct combustion carbon analysis method. SSM measurement range for TC is from 0.1 mg to 30 mg carbon content. While for IC, it's 0.1 mg to 20 mg carbon content. Maximum sample volume that can be measured by SSM is up to 1 gram. Now let's talk about the TC and IC calibration using SSM. For TC calibration, you can use glucose powder or solution. For IC calibration, use sodium carbonate or solution. To measure solid sample TOC, there are few things you need to prepare. Glucose powder standard, sodium carbonate, tweezer, sample boat, and solid sample. This is how SSM looks like. Blue color or TC sample port and cover. Green color or IC sample port and its cover. Before analysis, turn on the oxygen gas and air, and set the carrier gas pressure to 200 kPa. We will start with the TC analysis. First, weigh the standards and the sample, and then record their weights. Open the TC sample port cover. Place the sample boat containing sample into the sample holder. Close and tighten the cover. In Lab Solution software, click on Start button. Input the measured sample weight, and click on Start button. When the instruction window appears, push the TC sample port to measuring position. When the sample boat is pushed into furnace compartment, the sample is combusted at 900 degrees Celsius to release carbon dioxide and water. The amount of carbon dioxide is detected and measured, and the amount of TC can be obtained. After the measurement, follow the instruction in the window by pulling the port to the cooling position, followed by original sample change position. Lastly, take out the sample. Then close and tighten the cover. Now we will move on to the measurement of IC content. Open the IC sample port cover. Place the sample boat into the sample holder. Then close and tighten the cover. Adjust the volume of acid to 0.5 milliliters. Similarly, follow the window instruction. For IC measurement, Dispense the acid, and push the IC sample port to measuring position immediately. When the measurement is completed, pull the port to original position. Lastly, open the cover, and take out the sample. When the acid is dispensed, it is directed into the sample boat. In the sample boat, the acid react with the sample. At this moment, the sample boat is pushed into the furnace compartment immediately. The reaction produces carbon dioxide and water. The carbon dioxide will be sent to detector for measurement. And finally, the IC content of the solid sample can be measured. To determine TOC content in solid sample, differential method is used. In this method, we obtained the sample TC content and IC content from the calibration curve. The TOC value can be obtained by subtracting value of IC from TC. This is how we measure TOC in solid samples using the SSM. Thanks for watching. 
excellence in science. Shimazu.